Well, good morning, good morning, and good morning. Today I got on some other glasses. I don't know how long I'm going to keep them on, but you know I got my standards right here. These are a little, these are a little too short, too small, but I say good morning to you. How was your evening? How'd you rest? Are you feeling good this morning? I hope so. I am feeling wonderful. I'm ready to uh, start my day with uh, a little friends. And today we're going to talk about two, T-W-O. Well, we could be talking about in addition to, plus, you know, plus one. One plus one is, is two. So we're going to talk about two, and, and I'm excited about it. You know, I'm going to get out of this sun in a minute. It's going to pass over in one second. But this just seems to be the best place in the house for some light. So I apologize if I seem like I'm a little squinty this morning. But, uh... I just been looking at, you know, all the things that are going on and all I can say is is, you know, thank God that we have a, you know, somebody that we can lean on as friends, as family, you know, maybe a husband, a wife, a, a mother and daughter, a son and a father, you know, friend and friend, kids and kids, you know. Um it's all important. It's important that we are able to you know, find somebody that you know, what I call melds with you well. You know, you you all make a good union, a good friendship, a good soulship. And uh, not everyone is granted it. Some people, because they're not friendly, they can't find a friend. But uh, the Bible certainly says that, you know, if you want to uh, find a friend, you need to be friendly. And so I I hope through my lifetime, I seem to have had you know, a great many friends. In fact, you know, one of the things I'm doing is going through, you know, stuff, you know, that I never got back around to. And what I'm finding that is doing is really helping me deal with loss. Understanding that when you have a good friend, you need to tell them how you feel about them right now. Right now, because you never know. You never know if you won't wake up tomorrow or you go out and there's a bad accident and you are the victim of the uh, of the fatality. So, um, you know, I'm always telling people I love them. And I, I know even when I use Facebook, I usually start with love. It's hard for me to get down to just say, you know, um, like, you know, I usually love it. I love it because I'm still able to see it. I'm still able to understand it and deal with all the things that are out there on like a Facebook or a LinkedIn or whatever. So I'm happy. I'm happy that, uh, I still have my way about me that I'm still able to be friendly and know what it is to be a friend. So I say good morning to you. Good morning and good morning. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about uh, friendship of the souls. Good morning, Janice. Friendships of the souls. And sometimes, you know, we have a, a friendship that becomes like like, you know, we're apart and it's emptiness, you know, and I'm quite sure that people are going through a lot of that right now, right now, because of this pandemic. You know, we, we look at people when we want to get close to them, but you don't, you don't even know, are they, you know, are, am I the possibility of spreading a virus? Are they, you know, you never know anything. Good morning, Maurice, my, my friend, um, all of y'all that come in here are my friends. But uh, the, the wonderful thing about having a friendship is that you can say so. You can let them know. You can let them know how you feel. Um, sometimes we don't give enough credibility to our friends. You know, um, we think if we tell them too much that they'll run off. They're not going anywhere. A friend is a friend. They're going to stay with you through hard times, through soft times, through good and bad, through up and down you know, through running around, it doesn't matter. They are your friend. Um, and my, I've been fortunate enough not, not only to have great friends, but I've also been, had the misfortune of losing them. Meaning they, you know, they, 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 they were lost to, um, to basically death. You know, they, they passed on. Some went by cancer. Others went by, um, you know, other ailments, but, um, but I, I knew them, and so that made it. That makes it special. Is that I knew them, and sometimes we don't. When we know people, um, 
we take for granted that they're always going to be there and they're not they're just not and we're not always going to be here. i'm not always going to be here you know so i do what i can every day to show people that i do care and that i do love and i do believe that that it's you got to give it you got to give it out there and i believe it comes back three times your way if you show somebody some love so anyway in talking about two t-w-o that's our topic today um we're going to talk about friendships of the souls not just soul but souls that means it's more than one and uh this is by lisa fail f-a-i-l and i found it on um the internet and i just liked it it kind of sung a little bit to me um see what you get out of it okay it says have you ever felt like you know like you knew someone a long long time ago another place another time a friendship of the souls two people that share a bond for reason neither know a feeling that they were friends a long long time ago did they stumble onto each other by pure circumstance or was it fate and dis and destiny that played a certain hand two souls intertwined they were worlds apart but the souls it knows no difference in matters of the heart good morning joan somehow they are drawn together fate has brought them back each living worlds apart they journey separate paths when this life is over and a new life begins their souls will find each other two souls that you, that are called friends that's what friends are no matter what you can be living next door to each other in the same house or you can be you know on separate continents separate portions of the country separate parts of the country does not matter a friend is a friend is a friend no problem they they that's just who they are you know um and i know for myself i've been fortunate to say i've had friends i still have friends you know y'all are my friends right now <laughs> so anyway we're gonna talk about two t-w-o but before we do i'm gonna ask you are you stuck periodically yes we're all gonna get stuck we may even get stuck in friendships where we did something we didn't know what we did and all of a sudden they stopped talking gotta talk gotta ask questions what did i do you know and sometimes that's very difficult for us we have trouble uh because we think we know everything about our friend but sometimes our friend may be dealing with something doesn't have anything to do with us but it seems reflected it is as if it does it doesn't sometimes it doesn't now sometimes it does now sometimes we did something we stepped on their toe wrong we got on their nerves because you know a friend just like family you can get on a nerve now okay because when you know somebody well you can get on a nerve but get off the nerve apologize let it be still have your two the two of you so anyway when we talk about two i have aka friend um and your friend may be your friend may also be your your husband your wife you know your sister your brother your cousin it could be you know good morning juanita um it could be anybody you know Juanita is my friend. That's my Rotarian friend, which has become a friend friend. I call her little bit. Uh, but anyway, a friend is just that. They are there. Thick, thin, rough side of the mountain. They're there. They're there. And so when we talk about friend or AKA two, which is what the real uh, discussion is today. It says two is the equivalent of the sum of one and one less than three it's a pair it's a duo it's a duet it's a du. it's a it's a duplet and it's also a tandem and a twain so you know there you go all of those are twos all of those two and i know i've had some twos in my life that oh my god i, I miss them dearly i miss them and and as i said i'm going through stuff and i saw a few cards from them and uh 
it just brought back memories of the things that we used to do as friends, as the two. And, uh, and it's good. It's good. Sometimes we just need something to trigger us. We don't need everything we, you know, that we had from them, but we need something that just to trigger, just to keep us in touch. You know, if we're just saying a prayer or saying, I hope wherever you are, you know, I hope, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're looking down on me. You know, hoping look, you're looking out for me. We still friends. We are still friends. So anyway, the T of two is for together. Together. It says together is when it says it's with or in proximity to another person or people. That's when things are together. You know, and it talks about, good morning, Amanda. It talks about being, um, you know, just in in tandem with each other. It says there's a level-headedness about this relationship. Well-balanced, well-adjusted, sensible, practical, realistic, wise, reasonable, stable, reliable, equal, comparatively good. It says in conjunction with, jointly, in sync. You know, it says it's an ensemble, it's in chorus, as in a group, it's in unison, it's in jointly, done jointly, at one, collectively, and unanimously. The interesting thing about some of these descriptions is that I also see them where friendships have formed where they could be bad, you know, because um, it's almost like Bonnie and Clyde. They were too good for each other, but they were, they encouraged each other in the wrong direction. So I'm hoping that the friendships that we have established are friendships that are good and won't, won't get us into trouble, won't, won't make a, a, a light of something that we should, you know, stay out of, won't rob, won't steal, won't lie, you know, those kinds of things. But, but that's what friendships are, is that it's about togetherness. And sometimes, you know, they say that, you know, friends can be wearing the same skin, you know, that's how close they are, you know, and that they know a little bit about each other and, 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 and love it, love what they know about each other. And they're extremely close right in the thread. If you have a close friend, that's all you have to do. You don't have to tell me their name. You don't have to tell me, yeah, if you want to, if you want to put the name down and that's fine, but just tell me if you have a close friend. You know, I have several close friends. I, I have the, the close friend of the man upstairs. You know, I talk to him all the time. Even when I'm by myself in his house, I said, well, God, you know, it's just you and me. Here we go. I got this to do, that to do. I need your help. I need your help. And so that's, that's one of my friends. You know, he is my friend. And then I have several other friends, you know, that look out after me, you know, being a single parent from and and you know now my child is grown so she's doing her own thing so you know i have to look out for for myself you know um what am i doing how am i taking care of myself who can i reach out to if i need something like my little friend juanita offered uh her she and her husband offered to bring me a generator because during the the sally's uh mess messiness she um she didn't want me to be in the dark, and I thought that was just so sweet. But they live over in Navarre. Uh-uh. No, can't do it. I'm good. I'm going to, look, I'm going to be like the pioneer woman. <laughs> I'm going to be up in here with, with all I need with my flashlights and stuff and do what I got to do. And I did. And I thank, but I thank them for it, for being so kind. That That's a kind gesture of friendship and a loving gesture. And so I appreciated it. But um, when we move on, Okay, so uh, Juanita said, yes, I have a close friend. Great, great. I know all of you do. I'm, I have friends up in that. I'm seeing the box. Y'all my friend. Y'all already know it, though. But anyway, the W of two is for with. With. <laughs> Several, both male and female. Absolutely. Absolutely, Maurice. Absolutely. Um, the W is for with. Because when you have a friend, you are with them, thick and thin, no matter what. Something go down, you right there. Okay? They happy, you want to celebrate. And I know this is a crazy time. We, You know, th this is the longest time in any of our lives, lifetimes that we have not had an opportunity to hang with our friends, do something with our friends, go to the movies, have dinner, you know, 
laugh and joke and sing like i love to sing i miss my choir friends i miss them you know and they were also outside friends but i miss singing with them i miss it i miss it you know but it's god's will right now it is it says god plus several great friends including you thank you joan and that is the truth that is the truth known joan and her husband for years and years and years in the government you know the government be like it's it's like luggage you can't get rid of it if you if you meet somebody here you probably gonna meet them someplace else someplace some other place in the country and that's exactly what happened you know i met them in i believe they were in virginia when i met them and uh, of course now they live in in uh in the area but anyway so a friend is just that it you are with them it says accompanied by another person or thing so we know what to be with somebody is all about. It says to be along with them or by them, alongside them, for them, amongst them, including, besides, near, plus, in the midst. You know, because sometimes you can be in the midst of, of several friends. You know, you're, you're just around talking or you're playing cards or you're singing, you know, or you're having some kind of celebration birthday christmas whatever you know um i was listening to dr um fauci you know who is the 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 head scientist and doctor on on uh communicable d diseases and what he was saying i guess all kinds of disease but anyway he was saying that he's going to forego any kind of family gathering um through thanksgiving and christmas so you know wow the, you know who who would who would have thought that from march of this year that we would be in this tailspin so long you know so it, and the, and now they're projecting that we may not be clear until the summer of 21 so you know you still have to keep your friendships up you still have to tell them hello you know do zoom i've i've gotten good with zoom now you know so we do Zoom, I do Zoom and hop in and Google Google Class. I've learned to have, I'm starting to, and go to meeting. So I've done pretty much all of the platforms now on how to get, um, you know, a view of somebody and hear their voice and, you know, basically wish them well and, can't, and tell them what you want to tell them when you get to see them. And so it's not just for work. You can use these things for... Um, for what I say, just keeping in touch with people and letting them see. And also Messenger has it where you can messenger pe message, message people and actually use their uh, cam and both of you can see each other. I do that with my brother up in New York. And so he just uh, discovered that recently and he's been real excited about it. He said, hey, I said, hey, back. So we, we're, we're good with it. And the, and the O of two is for optimal, optimal. That means the best or the most favorable. When you have a friend, you feel that they're your bestie. You feel that they're there in your heart and they're there for you. And you feel the same about them. You have them in, in your heart, you know, and, and you are there for whatever they need. And that, that's what makes a good friendship, where it's a reciprocal relationship. It's a give, it's a take, it's an up, it's a down, it's a round, where you all are there for each other. So when you talk about your two, that's your, that's your friend. That's your two. That's my, I, I got a two. My two, my twos are many. I have many twos. I have many twos. So to be a part of, a, of it, be, making it optimal, it really talks about it being a carrot, and you know, a carrot is always talked about being beautifully, beautiful, being, being just a gem, a gem. So it talks about also being an A1 relationship. It's an ace, you know, it's, it's capital, it's a choice, it's the best, it's the choice, yes, it's excellent, it's flawless. I don't think, now, I, I, I think optimal is good, but when you say flawless, Mm, some of these things I take with a grain of salt because none of us are not flawed. We all have something that we're going to do that's going to tick off our friend or friends. Uh, it, that's just how life is. But you know what? The be, Becoming better friends after that just makes a mindful of what landmines not to step on. So it says it's idle. It's a, it's a perfectness to it. 
a select because you've selected each other. Solid gold, the greatest, the top, and the highest. So all those talk about what optimal is. That's our view of another person. That's what we see in them. You know, and as I said, because we're all flawed, we're not perfect. We're going to do things wrong. We're not going to sometimes say the right things, be in the right place, have the right attitude. You know, that's just the way it is. You know, it's just the way. That's life. That is life. But it's not anything that would turn a true friend away. A true friend, they're there with you through thick, thin, whatever. They're there. They're there, which makes it exciting that you to know that um, that you have somebody that you're not down here alone. Even if you don't have much family, you know, they're still friends. They're still give, there's still a two over here and a two over there and a two over there, which means between you and them, there's something going on. There's something that, that has formed a bond, a bind um, a togetherness, which is just to me perfect. Um, the fact that somebody, you know, just looks out for me, makes it where I am important enough to be um, heard from and, and seen and, and sought out, you know, just like I'm going to do them and, and, um, makes it special, makes it extremely special. So anyway, I want you to write, um, a few questions down and you can do it in the thread, some of them, or you can just do it on your paper. And I hope some of you should have a book by now because, um, I think this is my hundred and maybe 15th or 18th session um that's a lot where i'm out here talking but i love doing it it's something that um i took on a challenge and it is working well for me it's working extremely well and hopefully it will be the um the platform for me to move from into something else because ultimately i want to do a podcast and i just have to figure out how much it is um, time, time wise and also how much it is financially but um, I'm, I'm just working on myself I'm working, working, working on other things that I can do for others and how I can make it um, worth their while that they would tune in that's what I'm working on so here's our questions for today the first question is who is your two your T-W-O aka your friend who is it or you might have a list of them you know, and some of these friends don't have to know each other. They're your friend. They're your friends, you know. So that's what your two, your two or twos are. Okay. Question number two. What do you miss about being together with your friend when you are separated like during this pandemic? What do you do? Do you send them a text? Do you send them emails? Do you send them pictures? Um, what do you do? What do you do? You know, um, you send them little, little uh, mimes to make them laugh. Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I, I love doing that, especially if it makes me laugh. I'm trying to make them laugh, too. Um, here's number three. Before the pandemic, how often were you, you, you two as friends were together? How often? Was it daily? Was it once a week? Was it I talked every day on the phone with them and then we got together on Saturday afternoon and went shopping or went out to lunch or we do it every two weeks, we do it once a month, whatever, whatever. When is it? You know, get back in touch with that, what that, that did for you, that feeling, you know, because I can think back through some of the things that I've done with people and it just makes me either chuckle or gets me you know, sentimental, or it, it makes me, um, you know, call them up, you know, just say, I'm going to give them a call and see what they're doing and tell them to give me a call back. And the last question is what makes an optical friend, you know, that you have, what makes an optical friend, you know, is it that they, that they're easy to be with, they laugh a lot, um, they're creative, they're um, committed to doing certain things. They're intellectual. What is it? Good morning, T. How are you, sweetie? What is it that you like in other people that talks about you love it because it's an optical view for you? You just love the fact that they do these certain things. 
you know um i i love people who um love occasionally just being intellectual you know i don't get to to do that much but every once in a while if i can reach back in my brain <laughs> and bring it forward and not just use the the language that i use on say social media which is kind of quick you know kind of quick language with you know exclamation points and whatever but occasionally i just love it when i can just sit back and analyze something that's going on in the world or talk about a book i've read or you know something that i'm working on those to though that's my time when i can find friends that love to do that that to me is absolutely a lot of fun a great deal of fun but then i also like the person that like to party <laughs> i'm not a drink or anything but you know i do love to dance and uh and, and oh that's okay that you're late t you can always play it back sweetie but uh i love to dance and you know i know i'm getting older but i can still get get down on the you know not on the floor don't you know i never did the floor thing but i can get down to the floor i can still do that now i was watching somebody good morning tommy i was watching somebody do the limbo and they kept going down 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 where their head was was their legs were back and their head was all the way down on the floor and i saw it the other day on uh it was for for guinness records a uh, little uh a uh, young black lady and i'm thinking wow now i used to be able to do some of that but never when my head was down my legs were all the way back there child they'd have to take me to the hospital that's pretzel stuff but anyway she did it well i couldn't do it could not be me it could not be me but i remember my friends always saying all right go on go on sandy get it now get it now <laughs> i would I would, I go on out there and show out in New York, but I, you know, I kind of left that behind. I don't do as much dancing as I used to do, but it is something that I still love to do. Um, I love to do, you know, the ballroom and many of the line dances that are out. Well, we're out because I haven't been a while. So, you know, I don't know all the new ones and I'm quite sure they've made up a whole bunch during quarantine. So they'll have great classes once we can get back to the point where we can socialize. Does anybody else do line dancing as a social activity with your friends? Anybody? What do you all do? Karaoke? Do you do karaoke? Do you do line dance? Do you do um, Bible study? What do you do? What do you do with your friends? Put it in the thread if you do something. Um, I'm constantly thinking of things to do. And, um, you know, I'll also, if nobody will go, I'll go alone. Like, I love going to the library. And, you know, library, <laughs> they would be telling you, shh, shh. So I don't um, go with anybody to the library. But after the library, I can go to, like, you know, like Books A Million or um, Barnes & Noble. And sometimes I have a cup of coffee and get a chance to sit and talk with, with friends. And that's good. That's a good thing. But anyway, that's all I have for today is, and I'm right, I'm, I've am i been trying to keep it, occasionally I don't, but I'm trying to keep it within 30 to 45 minutes, and most of the time I'm, I'm, I'm almost right there, this is, it's 9.29 Central Daylight Time, you know we, our, our time zone changes soon, our, our time, so we'll be back on, on a regular time, we says we do a Wednesday and Thursday happy hour cooking class. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, I need a good morning, Cassandra. I'm waving at you. That's okay if you're late. You can always watch it again. Um, yeah, I think I want to try a cooking class. Because I cook pretty good by myself. But I would love to try a cooking class with somebody. And I know that now they have several things that are doing that they're doing virtually where, you know, the class is going on and you can actually, uh, you know, cook. You know, they tell you the ingredients and all that ahead of time. And also there is uh, exercise, several exercise classes that people are doing. Okay, Joan says book club meetings, travel with friends. I know Joan is, Joan and Jim, mm, they love the cruises. Um, church friends, political discussions with friends and family. Absolutely, absolutely. So every once in a while, you do need 
to get what's in your brain out of it because they said that's what keeps the the cells moving around is if you're forcing your brain to think outside the typical you know making making new connections um in your brain so that you can continue to have good thoughts and and make it where a discussion becomes fun you know and sometimes you may have to go back to the dictionary or go back to the the uh what i would call a thesaurus or something that just says that's not right and occasionally my friends would do that we would we would go back and do that but anyway you all have a great great day um reach out to your two your friend reach out to whoever they are and if you have several of them try one a week one a day you know maybe you can do one two three a day um and uh just touch base with them ask them how they're doing tell them you love them tell them you're caring about them ask them ask them you know what what's the what thing is making them happy in spite of us being under pandemic and give them some suggestions of things you know that they love to do that they can do you know without you but still knowing that you're supporting them all the way we need to continue just give support to people and let them know how much we care listen i care about you i want you to have a wonderful day i want you to be safe but i want you to reach out to your two reach out to your friend and as i said i love you i love you i love you i'll see you tomorrow thank you bye bye